All right, so what exactly does it mean to be a medium? What do you need to look for when you're choosing the right person to help you connect with your loved ones? So here to make sense of this all is psychic medium, Patty Griffin. Patty, welcome back. Thank you for having me. We enjoy me. having you here. Thank you. I always enjoy coming. Yeah, now tell us what somebody should look for if they're, you know, looking to make this connection. Do research. Make sure it's a reputable person because too often I have people that contact me and say that somebody walked up to them in the store and said they needed a reading mm -hmm. and then they needed help connecting with their loved ones on their own and it would be $1,200 or $400. Oh, wow. okay. So you have to be very careful and just make sure that you check. And word of mouth is the best thing, but there are so many reputable mediums around. You just have to know what to look for. Just don't go to somebody that approaches you like that because okay. that's not... That's, I hear uh, it happen way too often. And talk to us a little bit about your experience. Um, you can see people that have passed on? Absolutely. Okay. I have the ability to see them. When I'm reading, though, I only see what they want me to see. So if they want me to see a person that's coming through, if it's relevant to the reading, I will see them. It just depends on what they're showing me. Got how, it. Did, how did you discover this? And I know talking to you before, you, sometimes you get like letters and numbers, right? How did, how did you discover your talent? You know, I always knew I was weird. <laughs> I, I described it as weird. Unique. I, was, I was different. Yeah. I was I was very sensitive. Let's sensitive. say that. Right. And um, it was about I would say five six years ago, um, something happened, and a friend called me over to her house, and things were like breaking, and her best friend was coming through, hmm. letting her know that her husband was going to actually take his own life. Oh. And in my mind, I actually seen the house and where the gun was. And at that point, I knew that I was meant to do something much more than what I was doing. That's incredible. So you do private readings and you do big group readings. In fact, I know you've been to movie theaters before, sell out crowds. How do you cater to the group? You know, I just walk around and, and spirit calls me to where I'm going to go, but I try to get to as many people and so many times there are layered messages and everybody's meant to be where they are at that time. What do people seek? What do they get out of it? Are they looking for closure? Are they looking for answers? Is it comfort? It's comfort, it's peace, it's closure, and sometimes, you know, they're holding on to guilt and they're looking to free that and from the other side they let them know that it's okay. It yeah. helps them so much. I can't even explain how many messages I get that it gave them their life back and gave them the sense to, to go on and know their loved ones are still with them in a different way. Can you shut this off? Absolutely not. No. Uh, so what's going on now for you in your, in your head, in Patty's head? Um, just everything I have to do. Oh, okay. I <laughs> so nothing's know. coming through. I'll see if something comes through, but I have the sold out show tonight, so my mind is just Focusing racing on all, that. Okay. Yeah, at everything I have to do, and I already have people trying to come in for that, so I'm wow. kind of putting them aside. So the relatives know that you're going to be with the, uh, their relatives that are coming to your show? Yes, and a lot of times for me it will take on a physical ailment and I won't know they're hanging around yet and my kidney will start hurting or my back will go out and I'll go and there's you know a kidney failure or there's something happening so it's really crazy. I'll have my head hurting and there's a brain tumor coming through. Wow. Yeah. Um, so talk about your events coming up. Is it Mohegan Sun tonight? No, tonight is Riverview okay. in South Bay, and that's sold out. Okay. And then tomorrow night I have Shelton Continuing Valley um, Education, and then Saturday I have Mohegan Sun. Okay, so that's probably a big event that you can still uh, have people come to. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. They could get tickets online. They could go to my website, and I'm really excited. What is your website? It is www.pattygriffinmedium.com. Right. Wow, fascinating stuff, Patty. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, thank you. Good thank luck you tonight. So Rest thank up. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you guys for having me. Thank you, Patty. All right, stay with us. More style coming up after the break. Thank you.